<laughs> Let's praise God this morning. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Taking a look at video of Botham Jean leading a chapel service at Harding University in 2016. Friends, family, and former classmates remembering the Harding grad who was shot and killed Thursday night by a Dallas police officer. Good afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us here at 4 p.m. Police officials say the officer was heading home after working a full shift when she mistakenly entered the wrong apartment in her building. That apartment belonged to Botham Jean. She was confronted by the 26-year-old, and police say it was during that confrontation that the officer fired her weapon, killing the man. Yeah, I know it's chaotic, but is anybody can get a suspect description? After an overnight shooting... To the officer with the victim. A Dallas police officer is now at the center of a manslaughter investigation. Last night, a female Dallas police officer returned to what she believed to be her apartment after her shift had ended. Instead, she apparently walked into a neighbor's apartment, then shot and killed 26-year-old Botham John. It's not clear what interaction was between them, her and the victim. But at some point, she fired her weapon, striking the victim. Jean worked at Price Waterhouse Cooper. The company releasing this written statement, saying it's heartbroken to hear of his death. As the investigation continues, she took away my heart. She took away my soul. She took away everything. Jean's grieving mother has questions of her own for the officer who pulled the trigger. But I need to look into her eyes and ask her why she did that to my son. He didn't deserve to die like that. And the explanation does not make sense. The Texas Rangers have been called in to conduct a separate independent investigation. Many here in the natural state remembering the Harding grad. ARK Force Caitlin Reardon was in Searcy today, and Caitlin, he was actively involved on campus. How are people reacting to the tragic news? Well, Mallory, an incredibly tragic situation, as you said. His university family also struggling to cope with that terrible news. They say Jean was such a light to everyone he met. Now, he graduated from Harding in 2016. He was an international student from St. Lucia. Those on campus say he's still very well known and respected. Jean was an RA while he was there, often led singing at Daly Chapel and was involved in a lot of the social clubs and activities. Many students on campus fondly recall how Jean helped them in their early years at the university, saying today has been difficult to deal with, but they believe Jean would want them to look forward. Use what we learned from him, you know, in our time with him to push us, you know, in life and not dwell on the sadness of the event, but really the life that he had and the influence that he had on many people. And during chapel this morning, the dean shared stories and memories about Jean. And uh, faculty and students say that because of the intimate nature of the campus, tragedies like this one hit them very hard. Mallory. Caitlin, thank you. We will have continuing coverage throughout this newscast on the developing story. You can also follow along right now on your phone. Just go to KARK.com.